In this video I'm going to be dealing with some horizontal parabolas um, and demonstrating how you go about writing the standard equation for a parabola when you are given a set of characteristics. Over here on the left, what I have done is I have written out all of the important things that you're going to need to remember um, about horizontal parabolas, and I specifically have focused on those that have a vertical directrix. All right, your general form of that equation. All right, things about p when p is greater than zero, it opens right. When p is less than zero, it opens left. Where your focus is at p zero, your directrix is x equals negative p, and then the axis of symmetry is. Um, the x-axis, all right, and that is assuming here that we've got the general parabola that has not moved away from the origin. Okay, so uh, we're going to um, write the standard equation for the parabola with the given characteristics. In my first example here, we've got a vertex at 0, 0, and we've got a focus at negative 4, 0. All right, now what that tells us right there is since our vertex is at 0, 0, this is what our equation is going to look like, okay? Um, and then we're going to have to take a look at this focus and then see whether it is indeed the one that has the vertical directrix or whether or not it would be the other one. Um, but looking here at my focus, I've got a negative 4, 0, all right? So my focus is P0, so it definitely is a horizontal parabola with vertical directrix. All right, what that tells me right there is it tells me that my p equals negative 4. So as soon as I know what my p is, then I can come back up here and I can write that equation in standard form. So x equals 1 over 4 times, I'm going to replace p with what it is, and then y squared. Right there multiplying on the bottom, I would get a negative 16. So my equation is x equals a negative 1 over 16 y squared. Okay. Now, on this one over here, my second example, I've got a vertex again at 0, 0, and I have a directrix x equals negative 3. All right, now on this one, we need to do a little bit um, more work here because it says x is equal to a negative p, so my negative 3 has got to be equal to a negative p. So a negative p equals a negative 3. I would need to divide both sides by a negative 1, so then my p is equal to 3. And here again, once you have p, all right, then you can use that general um, form of the equation to write your standard form of the equation. So x equals 1 over 4 times my value of p, y squared. All right, and then 3 times 4 there on the bottom is going to be 12. So x equals a 1 12th y squared. All right, so two uh, relatively short and quick examples of how you go about writing the standard equation of a parabola when you are given a set of um, conditions. All right, and both of these focusing at with the vertex at 0, 0, so not shifting away from that origin. Uh, definitely, thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.